This morning I want to talk a little bit about DC reversing switches. In this case, I'm going to be using them to run linear actuators. I've got a couple of different sizes here. This one is rated to pick up a thousand pounds. This one is rated to pick up about 250 pounds. I use them on a lot of different installations. I've got one that I'm using for a throttle on my sawmill, which really works great because I can throttle it up remotely and I can throttle it back down when it's out of the cut. So the first thing you have to decide is what you need for a switch. So we're looking at a double pole, meaning there's two sets of contacts in each switch, double throw, which means it throws in two different directions. And this one is an on, off, on meaning it's on one direction, it has a center off position, and it's on in the other direction. In this case, if you notice it's on, off, on. You can also have on momentary, off, and on momentary, meaning that it was jump back to center when you let off. For throttles, I use an on, off, and on momentary so that when I want to throttle up I can just hit it or, or actually I'll hold it in the momentary position or when I want to throttle down I just hit it and it stays there until it shuts off automatically because there is a micro switch in these linear actuators when it gets to the end of its run it shuts off. So we'll go over real quick how to uh, wire it and then I'll show you how it works. This is a schematic, if you will. Here's the motor. Here's the two switches. See, in the center, they're off, and when they go to both, they both switch together one side or the other. When it goes this way, this wire is on the positive, this wire is on the negative. When you go the other way, it's actually wired crossed, so that this wire is on the opposite, and this wire is on the opposite. So if this was on the positive and negative, this is on the negative and positive. When you wire them, it doesn't make any difference because you're going to switch them anyway. But you have to have a motor that is not grounded. That the two wires, the plus and the minus, actually come out of the motor. It doesn't use what the, not, the negative is not on the grounded hub of the motor. So over here is a, is a picture of the switch, the motor, and the battery. So what we're going to do is the motor actually hooks to the center, like so. All right. Then one side of the switch goes to minus, one side goes to plus, and then the other side is just a crossover. This now goes over to this side, this now goes over to this side. So when you switch it, when you're in one direction, the plus and minus are directly to, to the output that goes to the motor. When you switch the other way, the voltage active of the current crosses, so that now this one is going to the opposite side over here, and this one's going to the opposite side over there, and therefore it reverses. That's as simple as it is. Now we'll give you a little demonstration. So this is your linear actuator. This is a two inch stroke, same one I use for the uh, throttle on my sawmill, and I've got it several other places actually. And this is a the double pole, double throw, on, off, on. And you can see I think you can see the power to the motor goes out in the center, the power from the battery comes in on the edge and they simply cross over. So then if you hit the motor, you notice it'll go to the end, automatically stop, you want to go the other way, hit the other way, it goes to the end and automatically stop. If you had a momentary, you'd have to hold it until it stopped or until it got where you wanted to. So that's it. Pretty simple, but very effective.